Hi, today we're just going to be showing testing the active ABS sensor on this uh, 2014 Skoda Octavia. Um, we'll be testing using the GMTO TP oscilloscope um, in conjunction with the ATIS software. So in the generic section of the software, we have a category here, brake systems. Um, we have different, different options here, but for today we're just going into ABS sensors, speed sensors. So here we have a pre presets and sample waveforms for all the different, the, the most common types of sensors out there. So these four are for the inductive type sensor. Then the other type we have is with the act active ABS sensor with the signal in the negative wire. So what they mean by this is, if we go in here. So on this type, um, we have two wires going onto the sensor. Both wires are, are going back to the ECU. Uh, we can see here that we have a, a, a sample wave waveform in white. The red and yellow are when we start measuring, they'll come up there. So on channel two, they're <coughs> we're checking the, the voltage supplied to the sensor, which in this case is roughly around 11 volts. May vary from this may vary from 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 brand to brand and model to model. And then um, the other wire then is the output signal that's sent sent back to the ECU. So we have our supply in the sensor, the electronics in the sensor, does a switch and, and sends an output voltage back to the sensor, which varies from, in this, in, in this case, varies from, I'll just pop the cursors here just to see exactly. I'll get rid of some of these other measurements just to make it clearer. So we go, Top, bottom, bottom, top. So this signal uh, is switching top bottom by about 770 millivolts. The, ra the range that it switches in is 770 millivolts. So switching from about 0 0.8, 0 0.85 of a volt to 1.6 of a volt. Again, <coughs> a lot of them seem to switch in this range, but um, like we say, we can't we can't be certain. Most of the ones we checked that switch in the negative wire switch in this range. But uh, we'll do another video on this type of sensor later on, showing showing how to test this one. So we'll just close out this. We'll go back. So on the one we're at today, the signal is in the positive wire. So we have two wires going onto the sensor. Both wires are going back to the ABS ECU. One is a ground, a, 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 a fixed ground. On the other one, then you have in around 11 volts supplied into the sensor. When the sensor electronic switches, or when the wheel rotates and the sensor electronic switches the signal, it, it varies in this case by about 0.3 of a volt. So if there's a few different ways we can test this. Um, this preset that they have here works very well, but does it in a slightly different way. We'll show you that in a moment. Um, but we'll just show you some of the other ways you can test this type, which will test it and give you a signal, but a very, a very noisy signal. So we'll just turn off the AHOR engine. So I just have the scope connected up, uh, so we put the ignition on. <coughs> so I just have channel one connected up, the, the red lead and channel one is onto the, the signal wire and the black lead and channel one is onto the ground. I'll just move up the time base a bit here. So around there. So this is if we're just going in with the multi-channel software and um, we just have it, have it set up this way. So you can, see, you can barely see there when we spin the wheel, you can see this, you, can, you have to look carefully, you can see the, it's switching. But because we're on <coughs> this voltage range, it's very, it's very hard to see it. So what we can do here is, there's a couple of things we can do, we can go into set, Access range, so maybe we could set the lower limit to 
uh, let's see 10 volts top limit to maybe 13 <coughs> now we can see the signal more clearly but like like we see when we when we tune in on this fine of a range the signal gets very noisy of course we can add filters and things like that to it but it's a it's a, a lot of hassle and work when when the preset that they have there does actually work well so there's another way then we can do this we can go into <coughs> ac couple it sorry i'll just just go ac coupling so this is just going to display the changes in the in the voltage it's not going to display the total range just the changes so again i just put the time base up and <coughs> that should do and just move the down a little bit and just move the range up so as you can see we have we have we have it we have a the scope set up there now AC couple about 400 millivolts positive 400 millivolts negative screen is 800 milliseconds we're getting the signal again but it's it's not a very nice or a very clear signal again we could mess around with filters and things but there's 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 no there, there's no need when we can do it this other way I want to show you so sorry, I'm closing the edges fully. So this way then, it's going to be a, s a slightly different connection method than what we'd normally be used to. So we'll go here, brake system, ABS sensors, sensors, uh, signal in positive wire. And so with, with this preset then, what they're showing us to do is to connect the red lead of channel 1 to battery positive, the black lead of channel 1 to the signal wire, channel 2 then, the yellow or the positive lead to the ground, and uh, the ground of channel 2 just straight to ground. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment and connect this up. so we're connected up here now um, we have the ground of channel one sorry ignore the colors of the back probes there um, we're low on probes at the minute the ground of channel one is onto the signal wire the positive of channel two is on to the to the sensor ground wire and we have channel two just uh, grounded here separately and the positive of channel one is connected to the battery positive. We just have a jumper cable here connected, connected to it. So the positive of channel one is connected to the positive of the battery. Now we just go back to the scope then to show taking the measurement. So now we're all connected up. Um, we'll just launch the scope here. So we have a uh, channel one and channel two opened up. The the white ones here are references. So the the why is a is a reference from a vehicle and it, because we're in generic i'm not sure we don't know which vehicle it's from uh channel two we're on the we're on the ground wire and the why reference is just shown well, it should be zero volts so the main difference in this the way we're testing this is we're testing the difference between battery positive and the voltage level in the signal wire so you just have to bear in mind that the, the, the voltage level or that you're seeing here is, is not the actual voltage that's in the signal wire. This is just showing the difference between 
the voltage that's sitting on the signal wire and is at the positive lead of the battery. So again, th this will depend on the state of charge of your battery and everything as well. So we'll just hit play here. So we see uh, our, our channel 2 yell yellow is close to zero, so our ground is okay. And then we can spin, spin the wheel and see the signal. Now it's slightly different to, different to our reference. Our signal seems to be switching in a range of, we'll just check exactly here. Again, we just get rid of Our signal is switching from signal switching from switching about point point two hundred millivolts, point two of a volt. Then the reference that we have here is must be from a slightly different system. This one is switching by. Uh, we need to be looking at the reference one about 300 millivolts. Again, most cases with with ABS systems, we'll always have a known good wheel to check anyway, so we can we can compare it to 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 a wheel that doesn't have a problem. You can see there now that the voltage the voltage level is slightly higher. Just ran the engine for a couple of seconds, charge up the battery. Really, if doing this test, we should maybe have a battery support unit on a fixed voltage. But anyway, we, we don't really care about the maximum voltage level. It's the switch in voltage that we're, that we're interested in seeing. We just just have to bear in mind we're comparing it against battery positive. So I'll just turn off the reference here. Um, so we're monitoring there. If we want to add more increase the time base there and just get some more signals up. You can see now it's getting a little bit noisy. If we want to then we can add a add a filter. No pass filter channel one pull it onto the screen. So I'll just move the filter down a bit and um just zoom in a bit on the signal so we can leave our fil uh, unfiltered signal on the screen and the filtered signal and we can zoom in there a bit a little bit more so I'm gonna zoom on there so yeah it's a much uh, cleaner clearer way of looking at looking at the signal. Just have to be careful with filtering also if you filter too much past filter. If you filter too much it, it nearly remo it removes too much of the signal. So we'll pull it back up. That's So yep, that's I think that's that's just about it. Um, just have to be careful with some of these active ABS sensors um, systems when you're testing them. For example, if you plug the sensor in and out, or if you if if, if you create a problem and then plug it back in, uh, some some systems may switch off the power supply until you clear the fault or cycle the key back on and off. And or in some cases, if there's a short in the sensor, not sure on this design where switching the positive, but definitely on the other one where switched in the negative, 
if there's a short in the power in the sensor the control unit switches off the power supply so you it's 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 it's, diff uh, it's difficult to test it now there is way other ways around it but um maybe we'll do something on that in a, in a later video um so that's about it thanks for, thanks for watching um we'll be adding more of these videos to youtube and um, there's also many more videos and other support items on our on our customer support page on our website for for users of these scopes